Today, I want to talk about J-Hope getting emotional, saying he's not okay. I also want to get into J-Hope's military situation being talked about, and even Jungkook tearing up on a stream over the enlistment. And then we have an ongoing lawsuit involving touring and Suga's new tour. So hey, dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hey there or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey, spilling mug merch, and let's go. We need to talk about Suga and his new tour. Suga recently announced that he will be having a tour and he has yet to even announce his new album yet, which in most normal cases would be quite shocking because what if you don't like the songs on his new album? However, people buying are just going to see Suga. They really don't care what he does on stage as long as he is on stage. And also I am sure Suga will be performing a few of his older hits while on tour. So it's not completely strange to have it completely sell out even before an album is announced. If you are curious about his older albums as August D. I have reacted to some of him on Patreon. We fangirl and have a great time there and there's even a limited $1 tier open. I will link all that in the description. The world tour was announced to kick off in the US as you would expect and there was so much demand for the US tickets. They sold out very quickly. The general sales were cancelled in the US. This is because the pre-sales from the fan club had already sold out all of the tickets. There were no leftover tickets to even be sold for general sale. This was an issue that had been ongoing with Ticketmaster for a long time. People were saying that the general sales were all done, but if you buy platinum tickets, which will come out to like $700 each, those are still available to buy. The issue of this big ticketing company trying to scam or rip off the fans is a big debate that is currently ongoing all the way to the courts and to the Senate. The only reason the senators care is because it's a huge issue when one company has the power in any industry. It goes against what the US government aims to do, which is allow a space for all businesses to thrive and have opportunity. This is also a troubling issue when people took into buying the tickets, they often assume that the artist or the company sets these prices and that is not always 100% the case. The artists do get a cut of ticket sales, but it's likely a certain amount per ticket. I assume so. So if a $50 ticket and $30 of that goes to an artist, but it's being sold at $1,000 because it's bought and then sold by a reseller, the artist obviously still only gets that $30. That reseller takes that huge profit at home. The other expenses that you are paying for when you buy a ticket are advertising costs, if there is, venue costs, and the ticketing websites like Ticketmaster and etc. So since a system is so corrupt, why would someone like Sugar even participate or sell their ticket through Ticketmaster? Well, if you're an artist, you have to. Ticketmaster owns a lot of the big venues too, so unless you want to make your own venue or perform at a park, you will likely need to go through Ticketmaster as an artist. So don't think that it's Sugar that is behind this and he is charging these really high prices, when in reality, he has very little control over the specific price of the ticket and what people are charged. General BTS tickets are usually pretty fair price and I feel bad that there is a system that is not great and the result is that it makes the artists sometimes look money hungry. Especially those who may be coming overseas that have no idea about this long-standing legal battle with Ticketmaster and consumers. There's a lot of issues going on in the world right now and I think a lot of people are realizing how the system is not meant for people to live in. It makes it very comfortable for a few select people on the top and then every everyone else is suffering. Even something like the military service might be easier for the top as they could get an easier service or find a way to even legally avoid it. And speaking of the military, people were wondering what J-Hope's feelings were recently and he will be doing okay given that he has to enlist very soon, which I will talk a bit more later. A little while ago during a live stream, J-Hope was in the practice room and he was just finishing up his dance practice. J-Hope was talking about how tired he was and that he was working a lot. You could tell he was exhausted and why he chose to live stream then, we don't know. But this was around the time that the boys were feeling the pressure. They didn't know what was going to happen with BTS as a group and what the situation with Jin's enlistment was. So during the stream, when you could visibly see that he was flustered, I think an army asked if he was okay and he replied in English, I am not okay. Talking in English is interesting because English is seen as the universal language, meaning he wanted to make sure the translation wasn't going to be off and it would be directly understood that he was not okay. To know exactly why he was not okay, we don't know. Fast forward to more recently, J-Hope released his music video on the street and armies were taking this as his goodbye letter to everyone. It's very nice to have a music video to leave on and a good little gift to armies before they don't see him again for a year or two. J-Hope also had jumped on a stream before the video to talk about his unsureness about going and that he had planned on holding off for as long as he could until it was absolutely necessary. Basically when he turned 30 and could no longer 
or postpone it. Initially, I think that made a lot of sense in his head. I think J-Hope thought, why not push it off and make as much music and do as much as a solo artist can do and then go. But at that point, you're not going to want to go even more because you've done so much as a solo artist and now you have to give that up too. Then there is the other reason that anyone in J-Hope's position would be postponing would be if the Korean government was still looking into the case for BTS's full exemption. However, the exemption case is likely closed since Jin enlisted. BTS has not been fully BTS, so the full exemption would be for all of them, not just six of them. So they would need to make a new exemption law for just the six of them, and the six of them are not BTS, and the six of them did not accomplish as much as seven of them. So the new law wouldn't work. At least that's my theory. But of course, with all this, it is definitely no wonder that any of the members have a concern of if J-Hope was actually okay or not, and currently being told to go, if he will be okay. But I think it's not something we should entirely be worried about right now. There's been some theories as to when J-Hope would go, since he was initially allowed to postpone his service, but now has lifted the postponement. He should be called to service at any time. That means that currently he is probably just looking to do little promos here and there for his song on the street, and then the remaining time he is going to wait around to see when he is called. It would suck for him to make plans, announce it, and then have ARMY get excited only for him not to be able to do it. But I really like this song on the street, and it's a really cool song to go on tour with. But the song definitely made the announcement of J-Hope's enlistment more real. Not only for just armies, but it seems like a lot more real with the members too. People have been wondering what exactly the members' reactions are to J-Hope enlisting, and the most emotional member, Jungkook, how is he reacting to all the news? Well, Jungkook recently did a live stream again, as he seems very active with the streams, and this was absolutely one of the most interesting streams he did. He started the stream early in the morning, and I guess he did not get much sleep, or maybe he hadn't slept yet in general. He asked armies if it was okay to close his eyes for a few minutes and have a nap. I think he only intended to sleep for about five minutes. He ended up sleeping for two hours, and armies ended up hearing him snore. Armies were all freaking out over this idea that they were initially watching him sleep, and some others might have even decided to go to sleep with Jungkook. This was something that was very funny to international armies, but really nothing strange in Korea. There's a reason why mukbangs, study with me, and even sleeping vlogs are so popular in Korea, because they love to watch stuff like this. So of course, armies loved it. Soon after the sleep was over, Jungkook decided to continue the stream, and there was a moment that got armies very emotional. Jungkook played on the street on his TV and was watching it. People were saying that Jungkook's eyes were extremely watery and he was teary. And this is understandable. Jo probably did talk to the members about his enlistment plans, and they probably all know that this song will be J-Hope's last song for a little while. It also not only makes it emotional for the members to see their close friend, or at this point family, leave for the military, but it's emotional because it reminds them that they are nearing the point where they need to go. Jungkook will have to prepare soon to enlist, or at least think about what his plans are going to be. Right now, Jungkook is on a bit of a break, and that is okay. He is currently the youngest and has a lot of time before he has to put anything out and then enlist. So there really is no rush to get him more work right now. Now, some people also think that J-Hope's enlistment is happening this year and will likely be in June if he plans on coming back by early 2025 or later 2024. But these are all just theories. I don't even think Jungkook would be emotional about those dates, as I am sure even he doesn't know when it will be. At this point, it's just guessing, but I'm very curious to know if you think J-Hope is upset over the enlistment and if he's okay. Do you think Jungkook is upset over J-Hope's enlistment? And how do you feel about Suga's touring and Ticketmaster situation? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.